Hello. Hi, yes, uh, Miss Harvey. This is she. Hi, yes, this is Chris. You had spoke to my assistant earlier in regards to your house on Liberty. How are you today? Okay. Pretty good. Did you have a few moments to talk? Yes. Okay, great. So, yeah, I'm uh, actually one the person that's going to be uh, buying the house. Like I said, that was my assistant you spoke to earlier. And so I was just giving you a follow-up call so I can, you know, check out some things and see uh, see how we can make something work out for you here. Um, you said something about there's some tenants in the property still, um, and uh, I guess they're moving out sometime soon or something like that? Yes. Okay, okay. And so um, do they have a date that they'll be out by, or, or is, it, is it just or is it month to month now? Well, she's she's been looking for a place. Um, I'm assuming that, you know, that won't take too long. Um, I'm kind of giving her like a month. Oh, okay. So don't give them too long, huh? They'll, they'll want to stay forever, right? Yes. I understand that. Now she was uh, renting it. Uh, how much was she paying for rent there? Nine hundred dollars a month. Oh, all right, you're getting good money. Nine hundred for a two bedroom must be a nice place. Yes. Well, it's it's also. I mean, it's two bedrooms downstairs. They're not count, counted because there are no windows inside the bedrooms. But there's two bedrooms downstairs that they're currently using. Oh, so this is like a two-family? No, it's got a full basement, and there's two bedrooms in the basement. But they're not really oh. counted because in order to count a bedroom, it must contain windows inside the bedroom. Right, exactly. you got to have the right windows, yeah, the closet. The city, I'm saying according to the city, we count the bedrooms, but according to the city, they don't. Right, right. So the person that just moves in, they're just happy to see they have this extra space. They can care less, right? <laughs> yes, they need those extra bedrooms in the basement. Right, right. Okay. So um, I was just trying to figure out, was, uh, as far as selling the house, what's more important to you, a quick sale or is it more of a price? Well, my husband, he wanted 70000 because... He actually wanted back what he paid for it, what he put into it, because he put a lot of money into it to fix it. It had to be renovated. And then he wanted to um, – we he did some research in what the other homes were going for in the neighborhood. So um, that was his deal. Right, right. So they, they want to make sure that he's uh, happy and taken care of. So is he going to be the main one that's going to be deciding on, you know, the situation with the house, or is it kind of a joint thing between you both? We both are. Okay, okay. I know you really run the show, though, right? Of course, because if I if I don't want it to happen, it won't. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> that's yeah. the best way to do it. <laughs> okay. Right. And so, uh, uh, so I just wanted to know, so what do you plan to do if you're not able to sell the house? Well, there, I really don't believe there's no such thing that we won't be able to because, I mean, we could easily list it. I mean, your um, agent did, you know, uh, ask me about that, and I said, yeah, we thought about doing that. We do have oh, a real okay. estate uh, agent on standby in case we wanted to do that. But the only reason why I called is because your sign caught my eye. But that was oh. our plan, you know, our backup plan anyway. Right, your right. Sign so that's caught my eye because usually those other people, they will buy it, but they not. It doesn't say for full price. The full price is what caught my eye. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, yeah so we do buy houses. Call. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah, so you want to get, you know, most you can. I understand that, and I, I always uh, I, I agree with you on that. I think you should get exactly what you deserve. So um, so 70000 yeah. is what you wanted to get for it. Um, and so you said you would consider taking a monthly payment for it until you were paid off in full. Is that correct? Um, I was telling her that I, I believe that my husband would go along with something like that. Um, I'll have to talk a little bit more with him about it. 
Right, right. Because to be honest with you, for us to pay top dollar and to pay the most, more than you'll probably even sell it for on uh, listing it, or more than you'll probably even sell it for cash to somebody, um, we would have to buy it, you know, in, in that type of a way. So that's how we can get the, you know, the most amount of money out of it for you. Is if we, you know, made some type of arrangement where we make a monthly payment for it over a period of time and, you know, get it cashed out for you in the near future. Um, so that's something you said that your husband would have to decide on mostly or he would have to be on board? Well, I'm saying that I believe he would probably go that way, but I'm going to talk more with him about that to make sure. Right, right. That makes sense. And so um, you said you already had a, a real estate agent on standby. Is that what you said a minute ago? I, I missed a part of that. Yeah, I mean, of course we do because we had to have a real estate agent in order to you know, buy that house. So our, our same real estate agent that's been working with us. So if we need okay. anything, we can, just, we can go to, you know, our real estate agent. Like, it's kind of well, like our real estate agent really never left us. Right. See, it's only been a short time because you've only been there a couple of years, right? <laughs> you keep them on yeah. speed dial. Okay, right. okay. Like, because, I mean, we're we're in the real estate investment business, um, and we're going to stay in it. We're going to be buying another property soon. You know, this is not, you know, it. this is just the beginning. <laughs> okay, okay. So how many houses do you plan to buy overall? Here, we're buying another one. Huh? Oh, wow. How many do you plan to buy overall? You want to buy 50 houses, or how many would you really like to buy? Um, I, w I would like to own at least 10 in the city, you know, where we're at. Um. My husband is going to be getting another 401k loan and buy another one off cash, just as he did this one at uh, the beginning of the year, next year. Oh, he's wow. Right around the corner. So. Yeah, he talked to me right. about his plan. But then, you know, my sons are in this with, with us, between my sons. They already got, like, you know, $20,000 saved to invest in the business. We're doing this for our children so that their future will be secure. Oh, wow. There you go. How many kids do you have? I have three adult boys and a little girl. She's 12. She's going to be in the business, too. She's going to um, take up real estate classes when she get old enough. Oh, wow. Get them started early, right? Yeah, she's going to get her license. I told her, hey, this is this, this a family business. It's not going anywhere. It's just going to grow. I know that's right. It's not going to disappear. It's going to grow. <laughs> I know that's right. That makes and sense. And so we acted. Oh, wow. So so how does she feel about that? Did she say that's something she wanted to do or just doing it because you wanted her to? She loved it, especially when I've been throwing $100 bills in her hand from my rent money I've been collecting and, and opening what? up and, and putting lots of money in her bank account that's under me. She loves it. She see what it does. It can help bring in a lot of money. <laughs> oh man, you gotta adopt me as an extra son. I ain't know you was doing all that over there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we yeah, we doing we doing pretty good, thanks to the Lord. All right, there you go. Good. It's a blessing. I mean, but then I mean, a little wisdom goes a long way, right? So we use wisdom, and that's what helped us get this far. Wisdom and seeking okay, our okay. own knowledge instead of waiting for someone to give it to us. We seek our own knowledge. Exactly. That's exactly right. that's a good that's thing there. Us become a, a black family with wealth. That's what helped us wisdom from the Lord. Generational wealth, right? Yes, yes, of course. Main thing okay. I was taught, you know, you have to seek wisdom and knowledge, and that'll help you get ahead. And then you have to be a really, really hard worker. You put the wisdom and the knowledge that you that you you, you um, got, and you put that together with being a hard worker. You have to work for it. I know that's right. Invest, so that's uh invest time into it. Exactly. See, you got the whole recipe. That's you should write a book or something. Success. Yeah, that's a formula for success. I'm actually a book author. So is my son, uh, two of my sons and my daughter, my 12 year old. She's a book author. She wrote three books. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got it. Author. You can find me anywhere on Amazon, Nidra Harvey. I wrote a book about foods after I did my weight loss journey. Um, foods that, you know, unclog arteries naturally. I did a um, a book on that because it's certain foods that we can eat that helps our health. It reduces blood pressure, sugar, you know, help your sugar, regulate your sugar and things like that. It fights against cancer. 
And a lot of our people don't know that, and that's why I came up with that book. Right. So you, you're helping people out. you got to help others out. That's, that's very important, and that's exactly what we want to do in this deal here, see how we can uh, add value to your life in some type of a way. So um, I think we did a, a little bit of our research here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to formulate an offer, and I'm going to send it over to you. What is the best email address for you I can send it over to? Oh, it's, um, I, I gave it to her. All right, at yahoo.com. All right, I'll get it over to you here um, this afternoon shortly here. I'm just crunching up some final numbers to make sure that, uh, you know, we can make everything work. Uh, we actually have a house for sale, right, not too far from your house, right there in the uh, 4,400 block of Compton. Okay, how much is it going for? Uh, we're asking 599 for that one. It's actually, uh, okay. we we sell them for cash and we sell them on terms. So that might be something you may be interested in. That's not bad at all. Well, well, all of uh, my husband said that's all we really want to work with. We we when we buy ours, just like we bought that one, all cash. We're buying ours straight cash. We're not doing you know doing it any other way. So makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. So that's a, so yeah. Matter of fact, that's a good I, price. That's a nice price. Oh yeah, and it's actually a two family. It has an apartment on the lower level, and there's a, a, a upstairs that's like a regular you know house. Oh so it's my like God. a two that's family. What we're looking for. Yeah, that's that's what See? we're looking for. See, look at that. That's one of the ones we're looking for. That's what we we wanted in the beginning, like when we um, first bought our home because I own my home. But then we didn't have the wisdom and knowledge that we have now. And I told him, no, I don't want a two family flat. I want a, a just a regular house. But that was my choice because I didn't understand what I understand now. That's right. All right. If I did, I would have jumped on it and said, yes, let's get a two-family <laughs> so we can rent one out. Right, right. Yeah, we got we, – so we buy and sell houses all over. Yeah, so I don't know if she told you or not, but we buy and sell houses all over St. Louis City and County. So we get houses, you know, sometimes they need a little work. Sometimes we get them that, you know, that are ready to go. You know, every case is different. And sometimes we come across deals that we don't want, so we actually, uh, you know, send it out to people like you that may be looking to buy another property. So we might even can add you to our buyers list. You never know. So that's what it's all about, building a good relationship, don't that'd you think? Be nice. Yes, and that would be nice because, like I said, we're we in this to win it, and we know we're going to win it. We're already winning. So we're going to just continue this, you know, blessings and success. And we help people every day. Me and my husband, I mean, we have to because my husband is a minister and so am I, so Christian minister. So, yes, we help people all the time. Right, right. I know that's right. You got to help other people out because you just never know. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, like I said, I'm going to send you an email here shortly. You should be receiving it, and uh, you'll have a couple of offers on there, and you can choose which one makes best sense for you all, and uh, we could probably work something out, I think. Other than that, did you uh, have any questions or anything for me before I let you go? No, I don't. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, I have a doctor's appointment later. But when I get back, I'm going to look at that email with my husband. And that way we can, you know, look at it together and talk about it together, you know, so we can see what the offer is and see what he wants to do, what we can come up with together. And then I'll let you know what he says. Perfect, perfect. So like I said, my name is Chris with St. Louis Cash Bars, and you should be getting that email this afternoon. You have a good day, okay? Okay, thank you. You too. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.